Hello, I'm changing the mood here into scapegoat talk, and uh, it's for my own, uh, it's for my own sake, and um, I, um, I need the right mood to do this, and I need the right kind of thoughts. So far, I created a, a document with a. There's a lot of there's a lot of text. I need to remove a lot. I already have a lot of text. I already written a lot about this scapegoat stuff. I just need the right uh, mindset, set of mind, and and then I will, when I get going with the scapegoat stuff, I will probably not talk about it anymore with you. I will keep everything into the book, okay, and. But you maybe will say, so we're probably going to see manifestations about scapegoating. And um, just because of the thought process, if you think long and hard about it truthfully, you just think truthfully, it will start to appear in the world so yeah of course I'm going to maybe talk a bit about it but so my my inner land landscape will change here I will go into the scapegoat mode I will I will um, I will be the, I will be the scapegoat here from see from that perspective in the book also from the perspective of outside the, 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 the people doing the scapegoating the, it's, it's, it's so important this guys about scapegoating it, it's, you cannot even imagine it's like the core of everything it's so, it's so damn important that what what we have is kids you have kids what's what's the name of the children of the goat the children of the goat is called kids so everyone is prepared to become a scapegoat you're all prepared to be scapegoats ready and how do you say it's almost as if we are enabling the culture of scapegoating by accepting to be a scapegoat ourselves because the scapegoat culture is is um, so it's so core to human culture so that we're all ready for it we're all ready to 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 uh, play the role of the scapegoat we're all ready to to scapegoat someone else um, we are uh, we're made for that and that's what i think should stop interesting right something that is core to human nature is just totally wrong um, at the same time truth truth is the somewhat opposite of scapegoating because the scapegoating enables the denial so truth is the opposite so that's why Christ represents truth because the truth, the truth itself, is is um, crucified, so that you can get rid of the problem. Um, and sometimes now I sound like super Christian, and. Some of my Christian listeners like what I say, 
but uh, I don't know. T- to me, to me, Christ is, is is a really interesting thought experiment. It is it is like a philosophy. It is. It doesn't have to be a real person to me. It is it is a. It's a beautiful idea, to me. With things to learn from it. For me, it doesn't have to be real. And uh, but still, the the sense moral of the story is is that about scapegoating. But there, there there is more. There's so many details. There's so much to learn from this that. No one haven't even touched. Because the clash of cultures, the clash of religions, um, fear about seeming to hate certain ethnicities. But I believe that as long as you in your heart doesn't hate you can speak about sensitive things without without uh, destroying or how do you say without without being um, racist for example i believe that you can be honest about things without being racist you have you just have to have you just have to feel it right in your heart right i believe so so no one touches this subject because it will to do it correctly, you have to go into to some forbidden talks, you know. But it's not all about that. That's just uh, that's just one stop of of the of the ride of, of of the travel to to understand what a scapegoat is. Uh, right now, you don't know what a scapegoat is. If I can say like that. Words. You you cannot understand a word. Unless you hear it from a lot of perspectives. And so I claim. That the word scapegoat. You don't know what it is. And. In some sense. In some ways. I don't also. I, I think I still believe. I, I know a lot about the word scapegoat. But. When writing this, there's going to come inspiration from the spirit. And I'm going to learn so much about the most important thing. There's going, there's going to be a lot of tears, a lot of, a lot of feelings, a lot of crying, a lot of a lot of understanding about things and uh. so um, yeah I have the file open, I have a lot of things written, I will start to remove a lot of things now and then I will start writing seriously. And uh, yeah, this is important. I will write about medicine, of course. Medicine is, is uh, and poison, poison and medicine, and try to understand the the, the poison of of, uh, of this. Um, it's poison. It's it's medicine. It's 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 um, it's so deep, and there are still things that I haven't discovered. It's always like this. It, it just grows and grows and grows and suddenly the understanding of a word becomes a power in itself. So
So you understanding the word scapegoat gives you a power, an amazing power, because you suffered through it. You, you, this this book is is more suffering than anything else, right? The scapegoat book is about reading something that you cannot stop reading and then you suffer. That's it. That's the book. And um, you you must suffer. <laughs> so you must suffer to <clears throat> to love uh, to love the devil basically. Okay? And uh, uh, we're going to love the devil here. That's what it's about. In your mind, the devil is this and that. It is things you can point at. And you will stop seeing the devil. I will help you do that. Um, you will not see the devil anymore after this, after this thing here. I will also speak about it, of course, when the book is done. I will make you, I, be, I will do this also, but we're going to end up loving the devil. That's where it's going. And uh, you're not going to hate anyone anymore. No one will be able to make you hit. And that's the gift of the crucifixion. The gift is the gift is to not be able to, to do that anymore. I don't know how to put it. The gift is the understanding of the crucifixion. Forget about being a real person or not. This is a thought experiment. Understanding the crucifixion is to empathize with the thought process of a godly being uh, intentional, intentionally choosing to die for other people. It seems irrational at first glance, but when you look deeper, you realize it's to teach us to not look for the devil. And that's, uh, maybe you already now know what I mean, but it can be talked about a lot and that's, that, that's the purpose of the, of the book, right? And I have to have the correct spirit. And if this is, and hopefully I will stop talking about this with you guys because I need, I'm not supposed to talk about it. I'm supposed to write about it. So, um, So I will, I will try to not talk about this, actually, to starve, starve myself of talking about this and instead write, and I will cry, I will cry so much. And uh, yeah. See you another another day, guys. I think it's the last. Oh, maybe I'll talk. Maybe tonight I will talk about the Burning Man a bit more. I did a two-minute video, but maybe I'll talk more about it. We'll see. We'll see, guys. Bye, bye.